Hey everyone, welcome back to the Deployment Guy. Today I'm going to show you how filters in Microsoft Intune work. So, filters basically help you target specific devices for apps or settings based on things like device manufacturer, version of the OS, and so on. Instead of messing with a bunch of groups which can get a bit messy, you can quickly filter things down by making sure only teacher laptops get an app and not the student devices. Super simple, saves time, and just makes life so much easier. Alright, let's jump in. Okay, so to start off, we are going to create a few sample device filters, and then at the end, I'll show you how we use these. So on the tenant administration, select filters, then select create, manage devices, um, and we're going to base this off device name, so we'll call it filter. Um, all my devices start with TDG, so we'll call it all TDG devices. On the platform, we'll select Windows 10 and later, and select Next. Uh, for the property, we're going to use device name. Um, in this instance, a good one to use is either starts with or contains. Um, all my devices start with TDG, so we'll use that. So value is going to be TDG. Click off that to add the rule syntax. And if we do preview, you can see that all four of my devices have all come back. Now, obviously, in your environment, if you've got, say, different regions, different departments, and you've got naming schemes for your various machines, obviously, you can filter them using this technique. So once we've done that, if we then select Next, and then create and there we have our first filter okay so you can also create a filter based on the uh, version of the operating system so if we select create manage devices we'll give it a name so we'll call it filter windows 11 devices platform again obviously going to be windows 10 and later select next now from the property we're going to select os version uh, the operator that we're going to use is starts with. Now for Windows 11, we're going to use 10.0.22. And on the preview, we scroll across. You can see that although I've got two different OS versions in there, the filters are actually pick them up using the 10.0.22. So we'll select next and then create on that. Okay, so another good example of a filter is device manufacturer. So again, we'll select create, manage devices. The filter name we'll call it filter Microsoft devices because I've only got virtual machines in my tenant. Platform, we'll select Windows 10 and later. Under property, we're going to select manufacturer. Operator, you can select equals if you know the exact one, like Microsoft Corporation or you can use contains or starts with. We'll use starts with and we'll type in Microsoft. And then again, if we preview that, you can see it's brought the same four devices back and under manufacturer, they're all Microsoft devices. So I'll select next and then create that. So as well as manufacturer, you could be more granular and have to do it via model. So we'll select create, manage devices, the filter name, we'll call it filter, virtual machines, because again, that's all I've got in my tenant. Platform, we'll select Windows 10 and later. Select next. Property this time, we'll use model. Operator equals, starts with contains. And we'll use, starts with again. And we'll tap in the word virtual. Select preview on that. And again, based on the model, it's brought all four machines back in. So we'll just select next on that and then create. Now you can also create a filter based on device category if you use those in your tenant. So under devices, we'll look under device categories. You can see I've got four different categories. So two different teacher ones and two different student ones. So if we go back to tenant administration and we'll select filters create a new filter, manage devices again, uh, filter name, we're going to call it filter, we'll call it teacher devices. Platform, we use Windows 10 and later, 
select next the property this time we're going to use device category have the operator we'll select we'll select starts with and we'll use teacher and if we preview that you see it's brought two devices back in this time a teacher desktop and a teacher laptop you could change this and if we change it to student as an example do preview again so this time it's brought in two different machines a uh, student desktop and a student laptop um, if you wanted just desktops you can type in desktop contains and preview and this time it's brought a teacher desktop and a student desktop back in so we're going to change this back to teacher machines so starts with and we'll put it back to teacher preview again to double check yep then two machines are back there select next and then create now you can also base a filter off an autopilot enrollment profile so if we look on devices select windows enrollment and under autopilot and deployment profiles you can see in my environment i've got two a student device enrollment and a teach device enrollment so i want to create a filter based on one of these so tenant administration again filters select create manage devices um we'll filter it for i think we'll do student devices so student autopilot devices platform again we'll use windows 10 and later select next and under property we'll select enrollment profile name operator if you know the exact name use equals otherwise starts with or contains we'll use starts with and we'll do student in this example and select preview and it's brought just a one device back this time if we scroll to the right hand side under enrollment profile you can see there we are it's got the student and device enrollment profile assigned to it so we'll select next and then create on that okay so if you want to be more granular with your filters you can be you can mix and match expressions so we'll select create manage devices uh for this one we'll use filter and we'll do it based on the name so all tdg we'll also do it on the os version so windows 11 and also the model so virtual machine platform we'll select windows 10 and later select next on that uh, so the first expression we'll use is property is device name we'll do starts with uh, tdg add an expression the next property we'll use will be the os version so again starts with and it was 10.0.22 add another expression this time we'll do it on the model so starts with or contains we'll use contains and we'll type in the word virtual and then if we preview that it should bring back all four devices now you can continue adding expressions um, to make it more granular so if we add another expression uh, we'll do it based off device category um, contains and then for this one we'll do it based off teacher so add that expression and we'll do a preview again of that and now you can see just by adding that extra expression it's reduced it from four machines down to two so select next and then create okay so now we've got a bunch of filters what can we actually do with them okay well you can use them in assigning apps or device configuration so we'll select apps windows uh, Microsoft Whiteboard is probably a good one for the demonstration, so we'll select that. Uh, properties uh, under assignments and required, we're going to do add all devices. Then under filter, we'll do include filtered devices in the assignment. So we'll select that, and it's probably a good idea that only teacher devices have the Microsoft Whiteboard app, so we'll select that filter, select review and then save um, also if you've got bespoke manufacturer software such as Dell touchpad assistant you can also assign that um, to all devices so assignments 
add all devices, and then the filter we'd use here will be based off manufacturer. Now, obviously, I've only got one for Microsoft devices, but if you've created one for Dell devices, that's what you'd use here. So we'll just cancel out of all this. Okay, so you can also use filters when applying device configuration. So under devices, we'll select Windows, configuration. Just give this a few moments to uh, to refresh and catch up. Uh, we'll use Windows power options for TG devices. Click into that. Again, under assignments, edit, our devices. Then under edit filter, we'll include filter devices and we'll select filter teach devices. Select that. Review and save. Save again. Okay, so I've been away and giving Tune a little bit of time to do what it needs to do. So now that I've come back, we'll check a couple of those devices. So I'll select devices under Windows. The first one we'll choose, which is a teaching machine, is TVG Client 01. And we'll look under Managed Apps. As you can see, Microsoft Whiteboard has installed. And on the device configuration, you can see that the power options have also succeeded. Now, if we go back to the Windows devices and we'll check the student machine. So TVG Client R2, which is a student machine. Again, if we look under Managed Apps, we can see that although Microsoft Whiteboard is there, under the installation status, it's showing as not applicable. Equally, on the device configuration, if we look for the power options again, under state, it says not applicable. And that's literally how you use filters. All right, and that's a wrap. I hope this helped you get a better idea of how filters in Microsoft Intune can make your life easier. If you found this useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more Intune tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.